Buy apartment now despite of corona crisis. I was about to buy an apartment in a major city in Central Europe to live in, mostly with borrowed capital around 80%. The price was set before the financial crisis due to the coronavirus started. Should I change my plans? Is there any possibility of saying whether the crisis also had an impact on the real estate prices so far? My personal situation is stable in the sense that my job is rather safe despite of the crisis. Should I continue to buy the apartment as planned? Note, I am aware that the future cannot be predicted. What I want to find out is the following. Since the price for my apartment was set before the corona crisis started, is there already any evidence that the real estate prices in Central Europe have taken a hit? I.e. I am not asking about the future development but rather about a comparison of the situation before the corona crisis to the present situation. It would also be interesting whether in the past the stock market was correlated with the real estate prices, particularly during, after crises. This is too high in my opinion. There has been a period in history in Amsterdam when real house prices fell 80%, leaving only 20% source. True, it happened over a period of 37 years 1778 to 1815. Shorter term crashes are usually more limited, easily leaving 50% of the house price value left. If you pay your loan back quickly, you could fund more than 50% of your house with borrowed capital. 60%? Definitely. 70%? Maybe if you pay your loan back very quickly. But I would not fund 80% with borrowed capital. Anything is possible. In particular, investments, real estate, bonds, stocks tend to be correlated. We now know that stock yields have increased and equivalently prices have reduced. Whether the same happens to real estate prices is anyone's guess. You should note that alternative investment options have reduced in value and increased in yield. For example, a major hydropower, nuclear power producing company in my area has a dividend yield of 8%. Add to that 2% of inflation, and you have 10% nominal yield. It only distributes some of the earnings back as dividend, so part of it is reinvested, so the nominal yield could even exceed 10%. So, do a quick calculation. How much yield would a stock investment have? How much yield would a real estate investment have in avoided rental costs? Take into account all estimated maintenance a real estate investment would have in a period of 50 to 100 years. I can't say definite yes or no, but in the area where I live, the answer is a clear no house prices would need to fall by a huge amount to make living in an owner-occupied house profitable, when considering alternative investments, stocks.